Elon Musk, the SpaceX boss, recently experienced a major setback when a Starship test flight ended in a fiery explosion shortly after liftoff. Despite the explosion, however, SpaceX considered the test flight a success as it provided valuable data for future missions. Days have passed since the incident, yet everyone is still talking about this launch. Social media platforms like Twitter have been flooded with pictures and videos from the launch day, demonstrating the excitement and passion that people have for space exploration. Amidst all the buzz and excitement around the test flight, there's one crucial element that's been at the center of attention. The damage caused by the launch. We all know with great power comes great responsibility. And the launch did indeed cause some notable damage to the launch pad and surrounding areas. But it's not just the damage to the surrounding areas that is causing concern among SpaceX fans and engineers alike. The explosion has also raised questions about the reliability of the Raptor engines, which power the Starship rocket. Welcome back to another interesting episode from The Cloud Boss. My name is O'Neill. Before we rocket off into the video, please shatter that like button just like how Starship clabbered that launch pad. And of course, subscribe so you receive that notification first. The Raptor engines have been a major focus for SpaceX and its team of engineers. While the engines have already proven themselves in previous test flights, this recent incident has prompted many to wonder if there are still more tweaking to be worked out in the engine's design. During the Starship test flight, the vehicle experienced multiple engine failures causing it to lose altitude and tumble before SpaceX initiated a self-destruct sequence. There are two main theories explaining the engine's failure. The first theory involves debris from ignition. It is possible that debris shot up during the prolonged ignition damaging the engines. Chunks of cement were observed flying straight up next to the super heavy booster, which may have impacted the Raptor engines. The second theory revolves around engine ignition reliability. SpaceX's Raptor engines have experienced similar issues in the past. For example, during Booster 7 static fire test in February, only 31 of the 33 Raptor engines ignited. One engine was manually disabled just before the test while another failed to ignite automatically. These instances suggest that the Raptor's reliability is not perfect and requires further improvement. Despite these challenges, it is essential to understand the significance of the Raptor engine in the space industry. One of the Raptor's most innovative features is its use of liquid oxygen and methane as propellants. This combination is largely unprecedented in the rocket industry offering several advantages over traditional rocket fuels like kerosene. Methane prevents a buildup of deposits in the engine, a process known as coing, and its higher performance leads to lower costs. The Raptor engine also employs a full-flow staged combustion system, only the third engine in history to do so. This design enables the engine to utilize every drop of propellant available, making it one of the most efficient rocket engines ever built. The result is a much higher pressure and thrust compared to the Merlin engine, SpaceX's previous rocket engine. For SpaceX's long-term goals of sending humans to the Moon and Mars, the Raptor engine's key aspects are reusability and efficiency. Musk has stated that each Raptor engine needs to be capable of flying up to a thousand times to support Starship's ambitious operations. This level of reusability is a significant challenge as no other rocket engine in history has achieved such a feat. For comparison, the most reused engines in space exploration history were the main engines on each space shuttle, which flew only a few dozen times each. Musk himself has acknowledged the challenges faced by his team, noting that engineering is all about solving problems. We can't solve the problem of spaceflight without solving a lot of problems along the way. Another aspect contributing to the Raptor engine's potential success in deep space missions is its efficiency. The Raptor's full-flow staged combustion system allows the engine to use all available propellant, reducing waste, and improving overall performance. The use of methane as a propellant sets the Raptor engine apart from its predecessors and competitors. 
Most previous rocket engines have relied on fuels like kerosene, but methane offers several benefits that make it an attractive choice for future space exploration. SpaceX plans to use resource utilization technology to produce methane fuel from the Martian atmosphere. This capability would enable spacecraft like Starship to refuel on the Martian surface, making return trips to Earth possible without having to transport additional fuel. The ability to refuel on Mars would greatly reduce the mass and complexity of missions to the Red Planet, making them more viable and cost-effective. The failed launch of the 20th of April brings back memories of previous failed tests of SpaceX rockets. While such incidents might be disappointing, it's important to remember that these types of failures are normal in the early stages of rocket development. In fact, Musk himself had estimated a 50% chance of success for the launch, acknowledging the inherent risks and uncertainties involved in such ambitious projects. While the Raptor engine's innovative features have the potential to revolutionize space exploration, there are still challenges to be overcome. The recent Starship test flight failure serves as a reminder of the difficulties in developing reliable and reusable rocket engines. To address these challenges, SpaceX is continuously iterating and testing its Raptor engines. The company has already built and tested over 100 Raptor engines, with each new iteration designed to incorporate lessons learned from previous tests. This process of iterative development and rapid prototyping has been crucial to SpaceX's success thus far. One of the areas of focus for SpaceX is the engine's ignition system, which has faced reliability issues in the past. By continuing to refine this crucial aspect of the Raptor engine, SpaceX hopes to reduce the risk of engine failure and increase overall reliability. Despite the setbacks and challenges faced, the Raptor engine remains a promising technology that could significantly advance humanity's efforts to explore the moon Mars and beyond. After the recent launch, SpaceX highlighted their commitment to learning from each test, tweeting with a test like this. Success comes from what we learn, and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability. As SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary, the team of engineers are already hard at work addressing any potential issues and improving the design and manufacturing process of the Raptor engines. Hold on, guess what? Yep, you have made it to the end of the video. If I have kept you engaged with my fascination with space exploration, give this video a like and be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section. My interests are tech innovations, space travel policies, and interstellar breakthroughs. Leave gravity behind and join me as I help foster the next generation of explorers, scientists, and engineers. Subscribe. I also focus on updates from SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, and NASA. If you're interested in space exploration, you've come to the right channel. We love space and hope to inspire others to learn more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.